friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. So today I have a really fun project. We're gonna be working on a Mother's Day gift, but this isn't just gonna be reserved for Mother's Day. We can use this for really any gift giving holiday, or if you just wanted to make something for yourself as like home decor item. So for me and the project that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing a sublimation mug. So what we're going to do is, is we're gonna take family photos and we're gonna slice them into letters and we're gonna spell the word mom because it's a Mother's Day craft. We're gonna have a little bit of hearts and stuff like that, but we're just gonna take some really fun family pictures, put it on a mug, and I'm gonna show you how to make the at like a square picture that you've taken off your camera and slice them into letters so we can have our own custom mug. The coolest thing about this project is, is that while I'm gonna be using my own family pictures, you can actually use your own family pictures for this. So what you're going to need is, is a couple really cute family pictures, and then you're just going to need design space. The cool thing about this is at the very end, I'm gonna show you the newest mug press that I got. I'm actually super stoked about it because it's two presses in one. And this is something that I didn't even knew existed. And now I have one. So I'm going to show you how that all works and goes down and how to do this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for me today, I'm just going to start with a blank window in design space just so I can show you from the very, very start exactly what's going to happen. So if you're doing a mug today, what you need to do is grab your mug that you are using and a fabric measuring tape. All you're going to do is you're going to take some measurements. So we're going to go from the top to the bottom, whatever that number is. Mine's like about four inches, four and a quarter, but I'm just going to do four. And then you're gonna to wanna to go all the way around here. Now, what I suggest, because the last thing you wanna do is like have to cut out slots for this thing, because that's a pain in the butt. So what you're, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my measuring tape and go to the butt of the, like that mug holder handle, and I'm gonna wrap it all the way around to the other side, butting it up with that handle again. And so whatever this number is, so this one's like 10 for mine. The most important thing that you need to know here is, is all mugs are built differently. If you buy the same exact ones that I am using, of course, they'll be the same size. But if you choose a different sublimation mug, it's going to be a different size. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you measure your cup in hand just so you get the correct measurements. So the very first thing I wanna do is go over here into shapes and we're gonna insert a square. Don't do the rounded corner ones because you really don't need it. We're just gonna go over here to the hard cornered shapes and hit that square. Okay, and then come over here into the lock button and we're gonna do this, the width, which is the longest thing that's gonna wrap around your mug. That was 10 inches for me. And then the height, it was four inches for me. So 10 by four. And then this is essentially the guide. So anything that's outside of this rectangle is not going to be printed on our mug. And we wanna make sure that all of our pictures and all the goodies that we've worked so hard for stay on the mug. What we wanna do now though, is because it is our guide, is we're just going to operations and we're gonna turn this into a guide. Okay, the very next thing you're going to need to do is get your own family pictures. I have mine right here. I've already edited that, edited, I've already edited them. Well, that is a mouthful. I've already edited them in my phone and I just airdrop them into my computer. The next thing you wanna do, when you have all of that, you're gonna go over here into upload and then we're gonna upload image. Now with the folder that we already have created, I am just going to just drag and drop one at a time. I'm gonna press complex and then press continue. Okay, so everything has loaded up and then I'm just gonna press apply and continue. I am not going to do anything else with my picture. Now, instead of it being a cut file, cause I definitely don't want that black, if you leave it the way it is and you hit that, that charcoal box, what's gonna happen is, is you're just gonna have exactly what you're seeing there. We want it to be our photo that we have chosen. And I am just going to put Mother's Day and then just press upload. Okay, so the time it takes to upload your image, depending on how big your file is, it might take a minute, so just give it a little bit of time before you get frustrated. So going back over into upload again, I'm gonna drag in my next photo, and I'm gonna keep doing the same process until I have all the photos that you want to use in your mug. Okay, when you have all the pictures that you wanna use uploaded, what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna select all the pictures that you just uploaded, 
and then you're gonna see them there at the very bottom and you're gonna press add to canvas. Okay, it might take a little bit for it all to upload because we are dealing with some really large files here and sometimes they upload very large. So what you wanna do is just make them smaller. We definitely don't need them that large. Okay, so going back over into the original idea that I had is that we are gonna use the word mom because it's Mother's Day. You could use any word here if you wanted to. What you wanna do is you wanna go into text and put in the words you want. And we're gonna use all capitals in this project. Now, if you were to take this over and put this onto our picture, see how it's not very big. We want some like really bold lettering here. So we're gonna change the text over. So we're gonna go over to the text box and we're gonna find a really thick and bold font. Okay, the font that I'm gonna be using today is called Trade Gothic Display. It is a Cricut Design Space font, so you don't even have to download a new font from anywhere else. When you have the word that you want in your text box and then you've chosen your font, what you wanna do is you wanna Command Shift G, which is ungroup. And then I, for me personally, I want it to be like a little bit wider. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna come up here into the lock button and I am just gonna make this font just like a little thicker. Kinda wanna really fill this up. Okay. Then by only taking one of my M's, I'm gonna drag this up here and I'm gonna switch this operation. I'm gonna switch it over to a guide. Okay, so do you see how when we changed it over into a guide, it's like really hard to see. But essentially what you want is that same thing that we did with the guide. Anything that's outside of the guide won't get printed onto your mug. It's the same type of concept when we're doing the slicing of this. So anything that's inside our guide will be printed in our M. Anything that is outside, we are gonna slice it away. We're gonna get rid of it. So like for this picture, if I put my M over this, what's gonna happen is, is like my aunt's right here, my sister's right here, and I'm cut out, my grandma and my son's also cut out. So what you can do is, is you can, just by simply manipulating the picture a little bit, we can make it smaller, larger, we can move things around. You know, in some pictures don't work well with certain letters, right? So that's why you wanna have multiple options. So I'm gonna go over, let's see this one. This was a group of all four of us and I'm gonna just drag this M over and I'm gonna make this picture just a little bit larger. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to see because the photo in some places is really dark, but do you see how inside the M, all four of us, my sister, myself, my aunt and grandma are all in the same picture. So when you have that and there's nothing carrying over, because if you have this photo like this with a little bit of white, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a whole lot of white over there. So you don't want that. You want. Not only do you want the picture to fill up your letter, but you also want the most important thing that you're trying to capture and that you want it inside the letter. We're gonna select both the photo and our guide and we're just gonna press slice. We're gonna delete what we don't need. So we don't need this guy and we're gonna move our guide over and select just our picture and we're gonna move it down. Now let's drag this back over into our mug guide. Do you see how our M looks exactly like it's supposed to and everyone is in there. That's exactly what you wanted to do. Okay, so let's work on our second letter, the O. I'm gonna drag the O back over into all of my pictures. We can delete this guide. Dragging over the O, I am just going to rearrange these pictures a little bit just to see if I can get something else that will work well with this O. And again, just to help you out, you wanna change that O into a guide just so you can see exactly what we're going to be getting inside of our letters. And like with this O, I can barely squeeze my grandma and my sister and I, and then we're gonna get a whole lot of leg. Coming over here. And again, some pictures just don't work well with certain letters. But you know what I think is really cute is like when there is a heart inside of mom. So it's like M heart mom and the, the heart's technically supposed to be the O. So let's go over here into shapes and let's insert a heart. Okay, this heart needs to be the same size as my M. So it's the height is 3.173. So I'm gonna change that height into the same one. So 3.173 and then press return. Okay, when you have that done, go over here into operations. And again, we're gonna change it over into basic. Then we're just gonna drag this over. So let's go and make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and remember anything that's inside the heart is what's gonna be into in your letter, anything 
on the outside is not going to be there. So I'm just gonna readjust this until I can get everyone in the picture. Okay, just like that. Then when you have everything, you just wanna select, you wanna select your heart in that photo that you're using and then press slice. Same thing as before, we're gonna delete the stuff we don't need. So I don't need that outline anymore, so I'm gonna delete that. And then I'm also gonna delete this because I don't need that anymore. Now I'm gonna drag this back over into my, to my mug. Okay, and then we have one more letter. So I'm just doing the same thing as I did before. Take this last M, drag it up here. We're gonna switch that over into a guide and hopefully I can find another picture that really does work well with, oh, here is that, oh, we forgot to delete that. Okay, so I don't have another picture that will fit well in the, in the word M, so I'm gonna do two pictures in the word M or in the letter M. So I'm gonna take my, since I have two pictures, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take that M and I'm gonna duplicate it. So Command D, and then I'm gonna put both the M that I just duplicated, shift on your keyboard, click the last M, and we're gonna align it to the center. We wanna make sure that it's completely center for this next step. Okay, taking ver the very first M, I have my grandma and myself in the left side of the M, so I'm going to press shift on my keyboard, that first M, and I'm gonna click that picture of my grandma, and I'm gonna right click and press slice. I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it, and then also these two M's right here, these like slice pieces, I don't need those anymore. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the picture of my sister and I'm gonna drag it up here and then I'm gonna take this M outline and I'm gonna drag it up as well. Making sure that my sister and myself fit on the right side of that M. Okay, when you have that done, what you wanna do is selecting your M or selecting the picture that you just adjusted, shift on your keyboard and then the letter M you wanna right click and press slice. Deleting the stuff you do not need. And let's see if we, oh, we have a guide that we don't need, so we don't need those guides. And let's go back and we're gonna take this part of the M, so the left part of the M, and we're gonna drag it up. And do you see how now, like my sister's face is getting cut off? So what you wanna do is, is we're gonna go and insert a shape, just do any shape. Rectangle is probably preferred. Okay, and what you wanna make sure that you don't do here is like, do you see how the picture of myself ends over here? We're gonna need to slice some out, but we wanna make sure that we don't over slice to where you're gonna have like a weird line in your letter. So I just drag it down just a little bit just so I can see where I'm going and my sister's face is right here. So I'm gonna take the rectangle or the square that we just created and I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to bloop, just like that, okay? And do you see how there's still a little bit left over on the right side picture? Trust the process here. I, it's like so hard to explain, you just gotta watch. Okay, so then taking the rectangle that we just created and my original picture on the left, I'm then going to select slice. So right click and press slice. Deleting that rectangle, this portion and this portion. Then I'm just going to take both of my, so I'm gonna select both of the pieces of M and I'll align it to the bottom. And so now, do you see how everything looks the way it's supposed to? My sister's face is, my sister and I is over here and my grandma and I are over here and the entire M looks good. Okay, so selecting both your pieces, you wanna command G, which is group. Okay, we are going to just go over here and go down. Okay, and because we added that heart in there and it made it like not fit as well, what you wanna do is, is select all three pieces and we are going to just resize them into our mug guideline. Now here's the deal. Do not go and try and make this wider and disproportionate because now we actually have human faces in these, letter, in these letters, right? So if you start to disproportion everything and resize it to make sure it like fits really good inside of your guide, what's gonna happen is, is all your faces are gonna get distorted. So making sure that the lock is always checked when you are doing this process. Okay, and then just to be sure that everything is aligned appropriately, we're gonna align it to the center our three letters, see how things moved. Thank goodness we double checked. And I'm gonna command G, which is group. When you have it sized in there the way you want, we're gonna select everything, so our letters and that guide, and we're gonna align it to the center. Okay, I am just going to delete this one because we don't need it anymore. Okay, now that we have everything done, we need to take our print and take it outside of Design Space. Now, most sublimation printers, or at least the ones that I have, it only prints eight and a half by 11, and 
the print and cut sizes aren't that big. So what I'm gonna do is leaving the guide the way it is, I am just going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna zoom in as close as possible without cutting off any of the pictures or this guide. So I am as close as possible. What I'm gonna do is, is making sure, because remember we centered everything. I'm gonna command shift and four, which is taking a screenshot on the Mac. And I am going to draw a box around the guide. You wanna make sure it's around the guide. Okay, when you have your box, then you just wanna let go and there is my screenshot. Next, what you're gonna do is open up a pages document or a Word document or whatever you have on your computer and we're gonna drag in that screenshot that we just took into our pages. Okay, remember the size that we had, right? So for the original size that we had for our bot, for our guide, it was 10 by four, that's what I used. Going back over into our pages, I wanna change this over to arrange it, there we go. I'm gonna change this over to 10. And theoretically what's gonna happen is, is our box height is going to be the same as what we created. Now, because the width of our paper is eight and a half and then a size width of our mug is 10 inches, I am just going to rotate this 90 degrees and I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make one over there on the left. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna command C and V cause I'm gonna need two mugs. And I'm gonna just drag this over. It's okay that there's a second page that's right here. We're gonna get rid of that here in a second, but we just wanna make sure that we have two prints. If you're only gonna do one print, you just have to do one print. But I'm making two mugs, so I'm gonna do it twice. Okay, then I'm gonna Command P, which is print. I'm gonna select my Ecotake printer. Now going over into media and quality, I wanna select photo map paper, and then I'm gonna go over into layout, and I'm gonna pr print Flip this horizontally. Make sure it's so important that you flip horizontally. Then we're going to press the one for one because we don't want two pages. And then I'm gonna just press print. Now that the print is printing, let's go over to the mug press. We're gonna unbox it. It's a double sublimation mug press and I'm so excited to show you how this looks. Okay, so here is my new mug press. Oh my gosh, so excited about it. It is from Vivor. So I have had their uh, big heat press before. So I got one of their mug presses because yes, so excited. Okay, so the coolest thing about this mug press is that you could do one right here, one right here, and this is actually a smaller mug. We can adjust these individually, but then also it has its own different temperature setting so then you could do one temperature here and time here and one temperature here time here different um class you know pressure settings this thing is so stinking cool the other thing i like about it is that it's actually really lightweight it's not heavy at all okay we're going to insert the power flip the switch on the very back and then we are just going to press the power on button okay pressing and holding both of these temperature things sets it over to fahrenheit and then for my mug, I am going to go to mode and I'm gonna change this over to 300 and uh, let's do 375 and it needs to be for 200 seconds. Okay, then I'm just gonna press go. And so for this one, it's gonna be 375 for 200 seconds. Okay, so then when I have the time and temp already set, then you just wanna press the fire button. So then I'm gonna fire up the right button and do you see how there's two different times and temps? Perfect, that's exactly what we need. Okay, so like I said, you could do two different size mugs. The only problem is, is we've already created one and this particular, and it was for the larger size. This one right here is gonna be too big for this mug, so we're not gonna use this. You're gonna want some scissors or if you have like a guillotine cutter, and all you wanna do is cut out your print. Now you wanna make sure that you cut out the uh, red box that we had, that outline box. You wanna make sure that you cut it all out. Okay, then taking some heat resistant tape and your mug, just one of them, and make sure in that our lettering that we have is going from top to bottom and then our mug, the opening is going from top to bottom as well. I'm just gonna lay this down right in the middle of our print and I roll up the other sides. Now you wanna make sure that it's completely centered inside of your mug. So just drag this around. Oh, that was quick. That heated up so quick. Okay, so we got that. Let's do a little bit of tape. Okay, now that you have that done, you just wanna eyeball it. I'm gonna make sure that it looks 
pretty good on there, perfect. Going to the next one, doing the same thing. Okay, taking a mug that does not have a print, I'm just gonna slide this in here and I'm gonna make sure that when I clamp this down, it's not gonna be overly tight. So I'm gonna try and clamp this down because if it's too tight, then it will break your handle on your mug. Okay, it is beeping. I don't know how to make it stop. Let's do this. Okay, let's open this up. And the all thing with sublimation is you always just wanna peel it back. If your print is not on there all the way, which mine's not, we're gonna give it another press. So I'm gonna go back over in here. I'm just gonna press it down and I'm gonna press that timer button again. Doing the same thing with this one. All we're gonna do is we're gonna peek. If it's not on there all the way, we're gonna repress it. Okay, then again, same deal. We're just gonna check to make sure it's all put on there. This one I know it's not gonna be, so I'm just gonna roll this over like that. And look at that, look at how stinking cute that is. Oh my goodness. And look at those pictures, they turned out fabulous. Absolutely amazing, super bright and vibrant. I love this, what a cute Mother's Day gift this is. Okay, so the other cool thing about this is now that I've done with this right side, all I have to do is just press that and it turns off the right side. So I only can, so right now I'm only using the left side, which is great because like if you're only doing one mug, you don't need to run both heat presses. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to make and I will see you later.